It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Four Pure Brewing Company and Marks and & Spencer's. And it's a double IPA coming in at 7.3% ABV, described as bold and hoppy. Uh, these beers are new to Marks & Spencer's as of early May 2023. Uh, let's have a look at it then. There's a, a, it looks like a leopard on the can. Maybe it's a tiger, I don't know. Tiger, it's definitely not a lion. It might be a lioness, I don't know. Comment in the comments box, what animal is it? <laughs> uh, it was £3.50 a can. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Bit of, bit of a splash on the back of the hand. This is hazy. This is hazy. We just reviewed um, Phase the Haze by Magic Rock Brewing Company. Another £3.50 can from Max and Spencer's. If you haven't seen the review, check it out. Uh, but that, for something that was called Phase the Haze, it wasn't very hazy at all. I didn't really pick up on it much in the review. It was just when I was walking it into the into the living room there thinking this not I should have mentioned that it's not the one really hazy um this looks more like it to be honest with you uh, good levels of carbonation as you rock the beer back and forth you've got a two finger white head hazy amber colored beer little little amounts of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass there there's no real big chunks of sediment, it's just hazy, it's just slightly unfiltered. Rolling the beer around in the glass, nice carbonation, the beer looks really good. I like Four Pure. Um, whenever I go away, I always used to find like Four Pures, if I ever seen like Four Pure oatmeal stout in a, in a spa, or a cost cut or something. If I was away on holiday or visiting family, you know it's a staple beer. You know it's reliable. You're going to pick that up and it's going to be pretty okay. Aroma on this one then. Smells okay. I'm kind of getting the aroma and listening to someone's dog barking away in the garden. That's the thing with terrace housing, isn't it? As much as I love terrace housing, um, it's a little bit like, oosh, isn't it? It's a little bit, everybody's living on top of one another. The dog must be about 200 yards away. But it's a big old dog and you can hear you big bassy bark on the damn thing. It's quite orangey really, it's quite nice, it's got a nice kind of like a clementine, orangey aroma to it, a little bit spicy and peppery on the aroma, maybe a bit of, maybe a bit of apricot, peach, mango, that sort of thing, and it smells massively refreshing, it smells okay, let's dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's more like it. That's more like it. Do you know, some of you know, some of you know, I do my beer reviews in little mini sessions. Um, there's no point in me setting up the camera and the tripod and just doing one beer review. Um, I might as well do one, two, maybe three if I feel like it. Uh, I've, ju I've just mentioned I've just done the Magic Rock and that was like, oh, like, 
it wasn't very good. Watch the review. I didn't get a didn't give it a very good rating, but it was really kind of poor. I thought for it was it was three pounds <clears> fifty, <throat> same price as this. And they used what's funny is that they used to be the same company, Four Pure Brewing Company and Magic Rock Brewing Company. Not the same company. They used to be owned by a parent company called Lion Lion Group. It was like the company used to make Lion Lager, Lion Stout. They owned Magic Rock and Four Pure and uh, the American Brewery as well. I uh, can't remember the name now. But but anyway, um, yeah, so they were under the same kind of... Uh, and then what happened? Lion Group decided to sell the companies off. Uh, I found Magic Rock beers after the sell-off. I found that, that some can be really good. Some can miss the mark. Whereas Four Pure... I've never really had a bad beer from Four Pure. They've always been quite on the ball. Like this for argument's sake. Loads of loads of lovely grapefruit punchiness coming through. Peach mango. I got out of the fridge about 25 minutes ago, so it's not kind of freezing cold, but there's a nice cold temperature to it. Being that it's warmed up a little bit, I'm able to kind of pick up that flavour. Not losing any of the flavour. Drinking it at about six degrees, I would say. So still benefiting from it being chilled, but not losing any of that flavour. The moment you put a beer in the fridge and you get it below four degrees, um, you start to lose malt flavour and you definitely start to use lose hop flavour. <clears throat> It's a good beer, it's got a nice mouthfeel to it. Nice, creamy. Almost wheat beer like mouthfeel. Nice creaminess to it. Passion fruit, mango. A little bit of sweetness from the malt over there. A little bit of bitterness over there. This one's drinking more like a, a New England IPA, New England double IPA. I mean, if I was going to be critical about it, back in the day, uh, the, the the kind of beer industry used to say, or the certainly the American craft beer industry used to talk about IPAs going up to 8% ABV, and then when a beer got up to 8% ABV, it become a double IPA. So this kind of a 7.3% ABV is probably more of an IPA rather than a, than a double IPA, but Max and Spencer's and Ford Pure have gone with that, uh, that, that ABV and that, and that kind of being able to call it a double IPA. Uh, brewed with water, malted barley, malted rye, hops and yeast. Yeah, I'm ready to rate it. I, I think it's a pretty decent beer, actually. Um, certainly a beer that I'll I'll enjoy. Um, like, I'll be probably, if I'm honest, I probably won't drink the Magic Rock for Marks and Spencers. I'll probably drain pour that one. And I'll probably drink this. This is this one. I'll say probably. I will drink this. That's really good. Uh, yeah. If you if if you're in the market for a double IPA at three pound fifty in a supermarket, you won't go far wrong with this one. Let's rate it. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.